1027 The Peak. It's Casey Joe with 1027 The Peak here with Dan Auerbach of the Black Keys. Thanks so much for chatting with us before the show tonight. Yeah. Okay. What's been the best part of the tour so far? And I probably get this asked this a lot. Um, well, I had really good Vietnamese in Calgary. Mm -hmm. That's surprising. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't expect good Vietnamese. I think they like their, their meat. They like their steak there, right? I heard about that, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I went straight to the Vietnamese uh, restaurant. And it, was, it was amazing. How do you get your energy up? Do you, do, you, do you like smoothies? Do you take supplements? Do you do yoga? What's your what's your go-to to revive your spark? Mm, caffeine. Caffeine. Coffee. Yeah. Are you a coffee snob? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just a snob in general. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm not a stalker, and I'm not hitting on you. Uh, I wanted to give you this card. I got this when I was out for coffee. Uh, okay. Take a read of that. Can you read it out loud? Yeah. Hello. I just wanted to inform you that I find you to be very attractive. Thank you, and have a nice day. Please be environmentally responsible and reuse this card on the next attractive person you see. What do you think about that? Uh, well, first of all, I'm flattered. Oh, okay. Well, someone ran. I don't even know who gave it to me. And then I look and what they were mean? gone. How do you not know who gave it to you? I was at a coffee shop having delicious coffee because I'm a coffee snob as okay. well. And I was looking this way and then I got this card and I thought, oh, perfect opportunity to pass wait, it wait, on wait, to wait, you. Wait, what do you mean? I got this card. It was on the table where I was You turn around and it was in front of you? <laughs> it just presented itself to me. Okay. So I'm passing this on to you now, Dan, to, to pass on to somebody, anyone. No, right. no pressure. Okay, that's, I'll that's pass it on to someone. Um, what are you most looking forward to when this tour is over? What do you do when you get home? Well, uh, hang out with my kid mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, go into the studio, make yeah. music. Yeah. yeah. It never ends? No. No, I can't wait to get in the studio. Yeah. Do you have an idea of like the future sound for the Black Keys? Or you just don't even no, think that far? I mean, no. I mean, we just, uh, we go into the studio and kind of just make it up as we go along. That's how we've always done it, really. I've got a, a poster to show you. I don't know if you saw this. This is uh, what a local Vancouver designer did for the yeah, tour. So that. you did see that. Okay. Do you yeah, know no, what the we character get, uh, in the middle of it? Do you know what that is? The character yeah, in the like middle? Yeah, like if you zoom in, that guy right there. Do you know and what that is? Of, I mean, it looks like Satan. But. There's a spot in Vancouver that used to have a statue that was removed, and some random person... Can we go through your photographs and see what's in there? Let's go through your photographs. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask you to show me a recent text message. You, wanna sh <laughs> you show me a text, I'll show you a text. Is that fair? Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, anyways, somebody put up this <laughs> naked devil with a very large appendage, uh -huh. and the city of Vancouver took it down. You mean giant appendage, like schlong, big giant schlong? Massive. I mean, it's art. It's it was a devil. It was just you know for people to. I guess so. So then, I mean, the well, how was it applied? Was it like painted or? It was just the statue was placed up and up on the. It was a statue. Yeah, it was what was it made out of? I'm not really sure. It was red. And then they took that down. Then a couple days later, <laughs> uh, a penguin got put up where it was. With a trunk? No, just a, a penguin. <laughs> yeah. Well. Then they took the penguin down. I just was curious of how you felt about that and. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, they cropped it. Oh, it's cropped. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. Yeah? Do you want your kids seeing that? The devil's that? got a lot of curvature going on <laughs> yeah. there. Um, he was not very big. I mean, he was just yeah, look like... At they, they didn't know where to grab. Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyways, no, I, I don't want kids seeing that. Oh, okay, okay. If, uh, it were, if somebody put it up in my neighborhood, I'd... You don't want it. Take it down. Okay, okay. <laughs> Will you show me your favorite apps? My favorite apps? Yeah, do you, you do you like a photo guy? What, what, do you, what do you like? I use, uh, got my tap tempo, my tuner. Yeah. My oh, Ford, you use the my tuner. Ford track. Oh, yeah. The yeah. iPhone tuner is amazing. Really? Actually. Yeah. What about vocal warm ups? Do you have any apps for that? No. I've I, seen I some don't of those. Do I don't know about that. You don't, you don't warm up. Mm -mm. You do humming or anything? Maybe a little bit. You I go in dry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Your early touring days, is there anything you miss about that? No, not really. No. I mean, I think back on it fondly, yeah. you know, but um, it was brutal. You know, I can't even, like, if, if we had to do it all over again, I wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, it was just, like, mind-numbingly brutal. Just two people driving 10, 11, 12 hours a day in a car that didn't recline. You know, see, so it was like, How did you, you have to be young and stupid to be able to do that. So. How did you make it through? What did you tell yourself at the time to get through that? That's all we knew. We didn't know anything else. We'd never had real jobs. You know what I mean? So, If you could go back. The thing was that each year it got better than the year before. So like 
There was always some sort of something that made it, well, it's getting better. This is getting better. We're making more money every year. Yeah, I mean, it's so mu there's so much to do with just like luck and timing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So um, it, it's, it's not always about who's best, you know? But being prepared and working hard, if you can go back to your, your younger self and give yourself a piece of advice, what would you say? Uh, nothing. nothing. I thought we did pretty good. I mean, we worked harder than anybody um, we knew, and uh, we've always been in complete control artistically, so... That's, that's you know what I mean? I mean, it's not like we, I don't, you know, I'm pretty happy with, with how we did. Oh, okay, when you get a day off, I know you spend so much time with Patrick. What do you do on the road with a day off? Just sleep? Uh, yesterday, I hung out in my room and watched uh, Naked and Afraid with uh, Swift. What's your review on that? <laughs> it's like the most genius show that's ever been made. And no, Patrick's into Super Nintendo. He's like big into that, right? He's playing some sort of Wall Street game. Do you know what is so this? He's always he's always been in the video games. Yeah, not you though. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to like like Legend of Zelda and stuff, yeah. and I, I like um, uh, arcade games. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't really play video games. Did you lose your mind when Fever was turned into an eight bit song? Did you hear that? I heard it. I, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I thought me it was too. really good. Yeah. I think that's a really good test of a song if it translates in like Super Nintendo world, then it's a strong song. Are all the good women gone? No, apparently not. Whoa! <laughs> I like, well, it's because I gave you that card. I knew I should have done the card. I'm so happy about that. Don't give it to anyone, okay? <laughs> well, what, what's in the future? Yeah, we don't have a crystal ball. We can't predict the future. I mean, maybe you can. I don't know if you're a wizard. You kind of are a rock and roll god, but what is in the future for you? Not necessarily the Black Keys, you. Um, I don't know. I have no idea, really. I mean, I know my schedule till like the end of next year. Do you write goals? Goals? No. Goals are for I losers. I hate goals. My brother writes goals. My brother's got, he's the kind of person that's got three year plan, five year oh, plan, yeah. eight year plan. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and you're like, I'm kicking your ass. No, no, yeah. not at all. Not at all. He's, uh, he's got it made, my brother. Mm. You don't think you've got it made? My brother is a, um, he's a, uh, What's it called when uh, your girl takes care of you? Well, like he's got a sugar mama. Yeah. Oh. He's, yeah. So he's got a sugar mama, <laughs> and all he really has to do is walk his dog. Why does he write goals? <laughs> they lived in they lived in New York, London. Yeah, he's kind of killing it right now. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, he's probably envious of you. Isn't it interesting how people the outside is never what it actually is going on? Like how we how I perceive your life, I know is not actually the whole picture, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you I don't can't just look at someone and know what their life is like. It's funny. Most people do, especially on the internet. People just assume that, right? Well, people make judgments, but you know, I think the older you get, the more you realize it's just the dumbest thing to do. You know, whatever. Wisdom from Dan Auerbach of the Black Keys. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you.